All right, round three. Let me tell you this. Let me ask you this. Uh, did you happen to see any of the so-called Oprah celebration? The end of the Oprah era. Trying to stay away from Oprah. Go ahead. Uh, did I lose you or what? No, I'm here. Oh, okay. Uh, I expected you to be verbose again and say, oh, 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 oh yeah. But anyway, uh, just uh, quickly, it was a, a festive occasion, and she deserved all the accolades that she received. But I'm going to tell you something. Her network is in trouble, trouble, trouble. And I'll tell you why. All right. Uh, I believe... I'll just go through a quick guest list. All right, Jamie Foxx was out there. He performed. I believe after Jamie Foxx, somebody sang, and then Jerry Seinfeld performed on the show. So she had major, major A-list guests. I believe also Gail King was out there, Maria Shriver. But anyway, getting back to Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld killed. He killed. He was gold. But what happened was, so Jerry Seinfeld performed. And the, the crowd is going roar and ranting and raving. Yeah, festive occasion, the celebration of Oprah. Then what happens? Then you have, uh, I believe, Simon Cowell came out. Doesn't do much. He just says, but they were happy to see him. Speaks about his, uh, his rapport with a, a relationship with Oprah. And that ends. And then he introduces. And I'm going to tell you something. The fans are going wild. Oprah, Oprah. Then what happens is he introduces the next guest, and it's Rosie O'Donnell. Now, this is where the Oprah Network is in trouble. He introduces Rosie O'Donnell, and remember, these people are bowing down, kissing, shouting, chanting, Oprah. As soon as Rosie O'Donnell comes out, it was like you could almost hear a pin drop. A couple people stood, but... People remained in their seats, and they gave a cordial or pleasant applause, and that was it. This is her anchor, and she probably got the worst reception of any of Oprah's guests. What do you think of that? Well, I think it's a common sense thing if you were paying any attention to Rose's career in the last few years. Uh, why Oprah's trying to breathe a breath of life into this corpse, Rosie O'Donnell, I have no idea, but she'll soon find out. And believe me, once Rosie bombs once again, uh, she'll be off the oh, Oprah she looked, it last that long. She looked so unappealing. She was large. I'm like saying, come on, this was the lady that most people were so, was so happy, I'm sorry, that most people were so happy that she left the TV screen, there were parades and celebrations, and you're bringing her back? What are you thinking? I don't know. I don't know what Oprah's thinking, and maybe, maybe in her mind, she sees a redeeming quality that no one else sees in Miss O'Donnell. But like I told you, proof is in the pudding. It won't last. Take it from the bitch meister. You're going to hear another prediction from me once again, like I did with Obama with this terrible job situation. It's going to fall flat. She will fall flat on her nose, and Rosie will be out just as fast she Oh, yeah, I think so, too. I think the Oprah Network is going to be successful, but they're going to have growing pains. And as you mentioned before, Rosie O'Donnell is going to be one of the growing pains, and she's going to be out of there. That's what I say.